Hello, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to use Adobe Audition for music. So here we are with Adobe Audition open for the first time. And to create music in Adobe Audition or mix jingles, I like to use my music production presets. Let's fire them up right now, get them loaded into the multi-track. Here they are, very colorful indeed. If you'd like to grab these, go over to mrc.fm forward slash presets and look for music production presets. Now I'm gonna show you roughly how these work and also how you can do some things that are musical inside Audition. First of all, and probably one of the most musical things you can do is set up a BPM for your track. Up here at the top, you'll see this is in decimal seconds at the moment, this time bar. Um, but if we uh, zoom in and right click on the time display, Play. We can actually go down here and we can change it to bars and beats and you'll see it says 120 BPM Which actually happens to be the BPM of the track I'm working to but if you want to change that tempo and you're working with music in audition You can right click time display and you can edit the tempo here and then we can change it from 120 to 138 for instance 138 beats per minute the ruler will change accordingly so you can do stuff like that But I'm going to change it back to 120 uh, beats per minute. There we go. Another cool thing you can do with snapping is you can enable it either by right-clicking and enabling here Or you can just click the magnet icon over here. This means when I move anything around it will actually snap to the beats uh, Up there at the top so kind of like a grid So if you're working with music, this is perfect and here's an example of some of the stuff uh, that I've created with my music production presets Ode to joy is a good one Very, very nice indeed. Uh, we've also got this over here. It's uh, for those of you who've played lots of video games, the extra life in uh, Super Mario Brothers. And I've even created uh, some synthesized jingle here with a drum beat. And of course, one of our singers as well. Uh, so uh, what you can do really to create any kind of musical note, uh, just as I've done in my music production presets, is you can go into the waveform view and you can go file, new audio file and just create a blank audio file here. Then go into effects and you want to generate tones like this uh, and then you can create any tone. So. It could just be a standard 440 hertz tone or whatever you like. Uh, there are some really crazy presets in here. Church organ is a good one. That's very nice indeed. Linear sweep if you want sweeping tones as well. You can do so much musical in Adobe Audition. This stuff is all hidden away, so you really have to dig in deep. Major chord, let's listen to that. Or a minor chord. So all kinds of good stuff. Modulate existing audio if you're working with audio you've already got. Note deep, let's try that. Ooh, that's a bit spooky. A bit like those binaural beats you used to be able to make, huh? Ooh, that's ghostly. Let's anyway go back to the church organ. I'm gonna generate this tone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this as organ into my downloads folder here so I know what I'm using. And then I'll go and drag this into my music production presets. Uh, and I'm actually gonna delete some of these notes here and have a play with the uh, the backing beats here as well. I've got some backing drum loop in. Uh, so here's this organ that I've created. I'm dropping it in and I'm gonna slice it up uh, to be exactly the length of one beat. So bear with me as I zoom in and do this. Zoom in, cut, delete, and now we should have one note of the organ. And in fact, uh, because I've created music production presets to exactly uh, shift the sound of your creation uh, to be any note on a keyboard, uh, so C4, let's start there. Okay, and I've also got some echo going on as well here. Down here I've set up an echo um, uh, bus, so I'm routing all of my audio through to the echo bus. That sounds really nice. And then I can take this organ that I created in the uh, in the waveform view using tones. I can hold down the Alt or Option key. I can copy it and using the snapping, it will snap and I can do like, I can do a basic sort of uh, scale here. C, D, E, F and G like this. So you can do that. You can do all kinds of stuff. And of course, if it's clipping or clicking, you might wanna go in and just drag in and out the um, the fades, the cross fades. So let's go here, grab the gray. Again, hold down Alt and it'll fade both sides like this. Alt and fade both sides. And you can do this with all of your clips that you've got here that you've just added in from the tone you created. And over here to the G note. Uh, and there we go, let's zoom back out. Very nice indeed. So you can do all kinds of stuff like that. 
And if I want to change that synth to maybe an organ, I might just show you how to do that. Copy the organ sound you've got there, paste it over the synth wave file, say, yeah, I know it's going to affect stuff in the multi-track, back to multi-track and listen to this. And I think I've just created the, the tone at the wrong frequency because as you can hear, everything is kind of out of out of out of tune in a sense. So you do need to, to get the right um, frequency. And let me show you how to do that. When you're generating a tone, effects generate tones. Now you notice when I generated a tone, it was at 330 hertz. Uh, you might want to look up the tones that correspond to musical notes. I think uh, middle C is around two, four something. Someone will correct me or give me the right answer in the comments, I'm sure. Um, but you need to choose the right frequency uh, to work from and then basically pitch shift your tones to create kind of almost uh, a MIDI effect inside the multi-track of Adobe Audition. Uh, but like I say, this is all tweaking, generating tones, uh, generating different uh, bars. If you want it all done for you uh, using this fantastically uh, complicated preset template that I created, head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets, download the music production presets and start creating music inside Adobe Audition. Yes, you really can use Audition for music in the multi-track with generated tones. Good luck. <laughs>